Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell G715 laptop and the exact model is a 7588. The regulatory model is a P72F002. That information can be found on the bottom sticker or inside the BIOS on the information section. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the SSD drive and what are the combination of the hard drives you have in there and what are the suitable uh, placements for the hard drives and the limits. And I see lots of people say they call Dell support and they told them that there's only 500 gig you can put on NVMe SSDs or you can go up to one terabyte, stuff like that. I'll cover that and because I have been doing this for a long time and based on experience and upgrade for clients, I'll tell you how it goes. Just remember, once you upgrade the main SSD storage, you put a new one in, you're not going to have any operating system. You have to install Windows freshly installed. I made a really short video how to create your Windows USB boot drive. I made another video how to install it on your Dell laptop. Follow those. It takes 5 to 10 minutes and you have freshly installed Windows. And you do Windows update and all your drivers will be back. All right. But if you want to add an extra storage, I'll show you that too without removing and um, changing anything on your system. So first thing first, power off the laptop, back up the files if you are going to upgrade the main hard drive. Grab yourself the screwdriver. I'll be using my fixed screwdriver set. And here we're going to use a Phillips number zero or number one. And you're going to loosen up this screw on the bottom cover. This screw has a little C-lock on the other side. The C-lock will help you to separate the cover. And if you pay attention, as soon as I twist this one, you're going to see the cover just getting separated right there. So once you loosen up, you want to put your fingers right underneath and you want to pull it up, work yourself, bring it up. You want to hear those clicks sound that you're not breaking. Those are the clips. Bring it up and loosen up. Those are the clips that are right in here. Once we remove the bottom cover, then we can see the M.2 SSD. This one has been already upgraded to one terabyte and there's a mechanical 2.1, 2.5 inch right over here. Now you can put up to two terabyte NVMe and two terabyte mechanical drive, low profile. I'll leave the link in the video description. Or you can go two terabyte NVMe and two terabyte SSD in here so you can have both SSDs. I highly recommend you guys to use a Samsung brand SSDs, uh, a really durable one and it's a little bit expensive but it will last you longer and more reliable is a Samsung Evo NVMe or is a Samsung Pro 980 Pro. Those are really good, durable for M.2s. And for the mechanical one, you can go mechanical hard drive, a Seagate two terabyte, or you can go again Samsung uh, Evo models for 2.5 inch. Now to remove them, you don't need to disconnect the battery or remove the battery to do any upgrade. It's really simple. All you need to remove the screw at the back end of the NVMe drive right there. And then you're gonna see the drive coming up in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to pull it back in that same 45 degree angle, okay? So once you get the new one in, you wanna put it, make sure the notch in here matches the notch right on the dim. So you wanna bring it down again in 45 or 35 degree inside the jack and push it down, make sure the screw holes nicely is showing and then put the screw right at the back. And that's how you can just simply remove and your main storage. Now to remove the hard drive, you need to remove the four screws on the caddy. The caddy is the bracket that holds the hard drive in place. So remove the four screws on here. Once you remove it, be careful there's a flex cable right there. You want to bring it like that, twist it. You don't want to yank on the cable, just grab the adapter and re release the adapter. Now, this is one terabyte Seagate, you can put up to two terabyte or a solid state drive. The solid state drives, they are pretty much the same height, they have the same connector in there. So you need the caddy, so pretty much the caddy is being held down by four screws, two on each side, one, two here and two here. You want to remove these two screws, grab the uh, metal bracket and make sure you put it in the same position on the uh, SSD or M.2, whatever, on the mechanical drive in here, put it on top and put the screws on this one and the orientation in. So don't put the caddy the other way around, otherwise it's not gonna match the connector. So once you put the SSD or hard drive in here, all you need to do is, I'll do it this way, it's easier. 
and push down the connector inside the hard drive, flip it over, and put the four screws right on top. And that's how you just simply, very easily, you can upgrade the storage on your Dell G7 laptops. Now, once you go to my computer, you're gonna see an extra storage. You can just format or rename and use it the way you want. Okay, once you're done with this one, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, make sure the bottom of the laptop goes in right there, and push down the sides so they snap in, and tighten up the screw right on the mid top side. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.